Hello, this is Dataji, and I am preaching the spiritual knowledge of Sri Data Swami. The unimaginable God requires a medium for expression. When the medium is charged by God, the medium is treated as God directly, and service to such medium is direct service to God. When the wire is charged by the current, touching the live wire means touching the current only. But if you touch the picture of a live wire on a paper, you are not touching the current. It is only an indirect representative model of the live wire. Service to the charged medium is called as Sakshat Upanasam, which is direct service. Service to the representative model is called as Pratika Upanasam, which is indirect service only. The indirect service is a total waste because neither you are experiencing God in the model, nor God is experiencing your service. The second type of worship is the worship of statues of God. Then why not we do away with this second type of worship? No, it is necessary since the majority of the human beings does not recognize the contemporary human incarnation due to repulsion between common external media or common external gross human bodies. For such majority, the model worship is maintained so that through such worship, at least the psychological repulsion to the human form is removed because these statues are carved in the human form only, like Vishnu, Rama, Jesus, etc. Some people have repulsion even to the human form in the statue, and for such people, the Shiva Linga, which has no human form, is established. At least the concept of formless God is removed here since Shiva Linga has a form. Some people worship formless objects like light energy as representative models of God. Some people worship qualities like love and bliss as representative models of God. The human body contains awareness, qualities, matter and energy as the shining and heat of the body and thus is a complete medium. For such psychological treatment of the human beings to remove the repulsion to the human form the rituals in the temples are being carried on, even though the service part is a waste. The initiation of life in the statues in the temples indicate the concept of life in the inert material body. This initiation of life advises you to go for the live human form and does not mean that the same inert statue became alive after such initiation, since no sign of life is witnessed in the statue after such initiation. The ignorant priest says that the radiation of life, called as pranakala, entered the statue, but all this is a brainwash only, since the statue does not even vibrate once. Datta datta ante chalu, datta pichi unte chalu. Yantra Mela, Mantra Mela, Tantra Mela, Japa Mulela, Guru Mulela, Puja Lela, Bhajana Lela, Yatra Lela, Yoga Mela, Jhana Mela, Yajna Mela, Nishtha Lela, Gudulu Yela, Madulu Yela, Mudupu Lela, Munaka Lela, Datta Datta Ante Chalu, Datta Pichi Munte Chalu.